morning, Stevie. Come on. She's like, uh-uh. I know Grandma's there, but I'm not. Anybody like to play outside? Tag? Anybody not negative and like to play outside? Okay, Maddie. How about video games? You like video games? Yeah, video games are fun. Board games, Leo? Sometimes? All right. How about chores? Anybody like chores? Did you hear that, Jacob? She just called you weird. Anyways, yeah, most people don't like to do chores. But any, everybody has chores, right? Anybody live in a house where no chores exist? Mom and dad just do it all? No, because I was going to say, I'll move into your house. <laughs> anybody have a chore list? Like a sheet of paper you got to check off when you do your chores? Does your dad make you do chores, Joey? No, your dad's pretty awesome. And I come live at your house. Well, when I was a kid, I had a chore list. I had to walk up to this little sheet of paper and be like, dust downstairs, Whoosh. check it off. Nobody has that? Okay, parents, are you listening? <laughs> chore list. This is what you got to do for your children. Anyways, the Old Testament reading, it says, if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourself who you will serve. That's like Joshua saying to the Israelites, if you don't want to clean your room, go do whatever you think is fun. Your mom and dad ever say that to you? If you don't want to do your chores, go ahead, do whatever. Yeah, my parents never said that either. Well, some people think serving God is a chore. And Joshua says, if serving the Lord seems undesirable, so if, if it seems like a chore, then don't do it. Do whatever you want to do. I think Joshua was kind of nuts. Because in reality, serving God isn't a chore, is it? We come to church and we think, well, we're going to worship service, right? But actually, God is serving us. He's washing us clean. I don't know about you, but I take a shower every day, sometimes twice. Pastor, how come we don't come to church every day? Well, no, we worship every day. Oh, OK. We don't have to come to church. OK. Pastor just gave you a chore. Did you hear that? He said, we gather and then we scatter. What do we do when we scatter? scatter? We have to tell other people about Jesus. Thanks for more chores, Pastor. <laughs> well, Joshua says, as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Joshua says that because he saw God part the Red Sea, which was awesome. He saw God drop bread. I don't know if it actually went, maybe. And Joshua knows that God has promised a savior all the way back to Adam and Eve. God promised to take care of us and send us a savior. So serving God isn't a chore. It's an awesome thing that we get to do and receive a cool thing from God. So since none of you have chore lists, your parents now have a chore list, which is to make you a chore list. Because I love your parents. <laughs> and it's fun. So on the bottom of your chore list that your parents are now going to have for you, I want you guys to write, Jesus loves me. That way, anytime you're cleaning your room or your bathroom or vacuuming, you can remember, hey, I might be cleaning my house. This is vacuuming, by the way. But Jesus cleans us, and he loves us. You want to pray, Layla? How about if everybody just repeats after me? Good morning, God. Good morning, God. Thank you for washing us clean. Thank you for sending Jesus. So that we know you love us. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. Amen.